Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Now, my last duty for today, or pleasure, let's say it that way, will be introducing Jonathan Swanston, the CEO from Jiva Materials. And Jonathan will tell us about their recyclable composites for electrical goods today and introduce the solo board. And with that, Jonathan, the stage is yours. Please Thank you ahead. very much, Christoph. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm looking forward to telling you all about uh, Jiva and our journey over the last few years. So we have a, produced a product called Soluboard, the world's first recyclable printed circuit board. There you see it in an assembled uh, computer mouse. So uh, what's the problem we're trying to solve? Shame on us. The world produces 54 million tonnes of waste electronics every year, and it's an invisible waste stream. The majority of that is um, not recycled correctly. It's either exported illegally, or it's burnt, or shredded and landfilled, which produces a huge amount of uh, effluent and waste. So there you see the, the routes of export um, from Europe to Africa, where people burn these products on beaches, or to the Middle East, or to uh, Asia. There's a United Nations produces a global e-waste report every uh, couple of years, and the uh, report from 2019 shows that the average, global average was 7.3 kilos of e-waste per person in the world. And there you see the figures for the UK and Norway. So which country do you think is more polluting, Norway or the UK? I think you know the answer, it's the UK. We uh, have very low collection rates, 55% compared to Norway. And we have a population 10 times that of Norway. So the amount of untraced e-waste in the UK is nearly 730,000 tonnes compared to Norway's 40,000 tonnes. The majority of uh, e-waste is uh, simple, small domestic equipment. 32% of that is um, not recycled or worth collecting correctly. What's our solution? We've swapped out the glass fibre in the existing laminate for a natural fibre, and we've swapped out the uh, epoxy uh, resin for a polymer that dissolves in hot water. So we have a patent on this product um, globally, excluding China. The product dissolves in hot water to allow you to recycle the components as a much more concentrated waste stream. The polymer is biodegradable and non-toxic and doesn't form any microplastics. As I'll show you, during this uh, presentation is comparable to market leaders. So this is the end of life solution that we would imagine you dissolve your printed circuit board in hot water. It allows you to extract the metals and the components as a much more concentrated waste stream and then repurpose or compost the natural fibers. Uh, a lot of our uh, interest has come from cyclical economy. So if you uh, own some goods such as a wireless router, you don't usually uh, own that, you uh, rent it from the supplier. And at the end of life, you have to send it back to them and they have to dispose of it. So this is a, a, an important part of our messages, uh, the circular economy. We have significant carbon savings, so 60% lower carbon footprint. Um, so one square meter of our solid board is equivalent to seven kilos of CO2 equivalent, whereas one square meter of existing material is 17 kilos of CO2. So it's a saving of 10 and a half kilos per square meter. There's also a plastic saving uh, per square meter. So uh, where does that come from? It comes from the raw materials. We're using a natural fiber, which sequesters the carbon. Uh, obviously our processing is lower. We have benefits from the, um, the lower density of our material. And you obviously get um, a no carbon, no carbon from the composting versus the burning of FR4. So significant savings. We have two products uh, in our pipeline, which is our copper clad laminate and our printed electronics material. So how is it made? We uh, make it a standard way of natural fiber uh, reinforcement. We impregnate it with our polymer, slit it and lay it up and press it. So let me show you some examples of what we're making. Here on the left, you see a printed electronics. Those people who know about electronics know that that's an Arduino board. And on the right, you see uh, our board being used to make a standard um, LED lighting circuit. So, uh, so we, uh, we developed this product from a university discovery in uh, 2018 and have taken that from something that's made in a laboratory in a university through to something that's now made on a 